Welcome to the final weigh-in for our slimmers who've been trying to lose a stone in the last six weeks. My name is Jodie Bunting and today we have Laura with us for a final weigh-in. Hi Laura. <laughs> Hello. How you been getting on on your final week? Uh, good, I think I'm just shy, shy of it, just shy of it. Right, how many pounds have you lost this week? Two and a half. Oh, uh, I was half a pound off, I think. <laughs> I can give it you that because that's 13 and a half pounds. In my yeah. mind, I reckon that's a stone, isn't it? So well done. That's good enough <laughs> for me. That's close enough to a stone as you can get. So well done. How's Thank this you. final week been? Uh, all right. I just put in my mindset, don't be too hard on yourself. Yeah. And I've done it. I've been exercising, so that's helped. That's really great. Yeah. So. And you've had a little bit of an issue with the app, haven't you? So you've... Yeah, it wouldn't let me log anything this week. So I have the same, actually. When I've been logging things, it's just letting me log one thing at a time. So I feel like maybe they're updating the app and there's some gremlins inside it or something. So yeah. let's have a little look through your food diary that you've sent me. Yep. Uh, so on Monday, you've had some of the Slimwell meals, a barbecue chicken and the tikka masala. Yeah. How do you find those? Uh, I wasn't a massive fan of barbecue chicken, but the tikka masala was fab. One of Definitely one of the best I've had. The reason I love them is because of the portion sizes. Don't you think compared yeah, to the other yeah, slimming massive. meals, you get quite a lot for your, for your money and your calories with them? Yeah, I've done Weight Watchers before and their meals are tiny. Oh, so, so <laughs> uh, snack wise, you've also had the Skinny Crunch Mint Bar and a vanilla yogurt. <laughs> On Sunday, a Sunday dinner, roast chicken. And then a chicken and cheese wrap with some uh, fries with mayo light. Right. Uh, burger with no bun. Great. Yeah, we, we went bowling. So um, we had to, have, we paid for a meal there. So um, I just had the burger and then thought, don't have the bun. <laughs> well done. And this is one of the things that, you know, you can learn long term to, you know, enjoy chips if that's your thing. But just trying to yeah. reduce the calories through not having the bread and the wheat can really help you. So well done for that. Um, spicy chicken strips, homemade wedges. Was this a Hello Fresh meal or was this something homemade from scratch? Uh, no, just homemade, yeah. Great. Well done. Uh, Thursday chicken chow mein. Was that a slim well or was that a. That was a slim well, yeah. Yeah. You see, I know that all... one's really nice as well. There's loads of veg in it. <laughs> yeah. Really it's nice. One, it is the one that I've never tried actually. So <laughs> I'll try that. That was uh, the first one I tried. It was really good. <laughs> I was impressed. I think there's only three about 300 calories in that one as well. That's quite low. Yeah, it's a lot, yeah. Uh, for dinner, a little bit of KFC, two hot wings, uh, thighs, mini fillets and coleslaw, which, again, a lot of people will be shocked, like, how can you eat KFC? But actually, it's a good source of protein. And compared yeah. to McDonald's and a lot of the other fast food places, actually, it's got less bread in it. So... I'm a big fan of KFC for a treat. Yeah. Uh, Wednesday, uh, you had one of the Mo Mo Health Fiber Bars, which is the Mo, what's his name? That runner, isn't Farrah. it? Mo Farah, yeah. Mo Farah. How was that? Uh, they're not as good as the Fiber One bars, but it was all right. <laughs> I've seen them in a lot of the shops, actually. So. Uh, yeah, I think I got them from B&M. Uh, for lunch, the Hossin chicken noodles and veg. In the evening, Gusto chicken tikka masala. So I've got to ask you, how does the Gusto chicken tikka masala compare with the Slimwell chicken tikka? The Slimwell one was better. <laughs> no, don't tell <laughs> yeah. me that. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I'd much rather have the Slimwell one. What, because there's less effort cooking it or the actual taste? No, it was just nicer. Really, was it? Yeah, I was surprised. The Gusto butter chicken's nice. I've got that yeah. tomorrow. But yeah, that's really nice. 
Although but, no, yeah. the tikka masala, the slimmer one's better. <laughs> you can definitely save yourself money buying the one ninety nine Slimwell instead of a the Gusto. Yeah. Uh, snacks there was a yogurt. Uh, Tuesday was the Mo Farah bar. Uh, for lunch, uh, chicken, big soup with a slice of bread. And in the evening, corned beef hot pot. Wow, that sounds nice. That was uh, sliced potatoes and carrots and corned beef and lots of veg. You but I know I was good at stuff like that. <laughs> when it's raining outside or cold, something like that is perfect. Yeah. Um, or stew. Then, we, like, we like stew as well. Yeah, great. Again, getting all the nutrients in. And snacks wise, skinny mint bar crunch and a satsuma. So well done, Laura. You really do deserve to, to lose that. Um, congratulations Thanks. again. As I said, if I say 13 over 13 pounds, that means a stone. So that really <laughs> is fantastic. Thank you. So the good news is as well, over the course of the last six weeks, you've realized that you do want to change your lifestyle regarding your night shift work, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Which is fantastic news, um, just because, you know, every area in your life that maybe you are struggling, I think just getting into a better sleep pattern is crucial, isn't it, for your future? Yeah, it's been making me poorly, so I think getting into something that's going to make me better, give me more time with the kids and more time to focus on myself, then I think I can do more. <laughs> Amazing. I'm proud of you, really, Laura. I think it, you know, it's a hard decision to make because as a lot of people do, they do night shift to get extra money because it is, it is higher paid than usual jobs. But sometimes you have to do yeah. lifestyle and, you know, prioritise that over money and especially... When you've got your little baby there as well, which is <laughs> yeah, easier. <he's here. laughs> oh, so cute. Right. What has been your highlight of the last six weeks? Um, I think actually getting up and exercising. <laughs> Five weeks ago, I wouldn't have even thought of doing it, <laughs> but now I actually enjoy it now. And what is it that you've been doing? Is it walking or fitness or what? Have you I got a weighted hula hoop, so I've been doing that. <laughs> and that's really um, good, really fun. Have you had any bruises from it or not? No, no, I thought I would, but no. Perfect, that's good. And what's been the biggest challenge of the last six weeks? Cake, <laughs> not eating cake. <laughs> I have it a little bit, a heart. little bit. <laughs> but no yeah I've cooked cake out that's why I started with them bars because they're a bit cakey so it's like yeah. having a piece of cake and this is the advantage of calorie counting although it can be hard work when you start to do it you can still have some cake or some treats and not feel like you're completely missing out so that's the yeah yeah I think that's the big thing for me if I try and not let myself have it when I do have it I go mad yeah so Having that little bit just keeps me going. And I think that's what I like about it. So we've lost 13 and a half pounds in the last six weeks. What is your future goal? How much would you like to lose and when would you like to lose it by? I want to lose another three stone. Yeah. And I'm going to give myself a year, I think, a year to lose three stone. Fabulous. And the good thing about using my fitness pal, you know, you can change those calories to lose one pound a week. Therefore, you can eat a little bit more. Um, yeah. A nice way to do it. And then you have don't feel so pressurized as well. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Great. Right. That's it from me. Thank you so much, Laura. You've been a pleasure to coach. Uh, and we will Thank see you. you again soon back here. Thank you. Bye. Have a lovely holiday. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sending lots of love back to Derby. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, Laura. Bye. Bye.